my name is Siba Christie. I'm from Montego Bay, Jamaica, and this is Yardy Jerk. Here yeah, we're doing um, a jerk chicken business here in Trinidad and Tobago on the Lady Young Lookout. As you can see, we have here on the grill the jerk chicken preparing. And we do also do rice and peas, mashed potato, fresh salad, jerk pork. We just do fish, whatever, you name it. So we have it all here for you. Since I was smaller, um, I, I, I like to cook because how I started end up cooking, my mother was a single parent. Yeah, and he, she had to be like all day hustling and stuff. So I'm, I was the bigger one for like my brothers. So I used to end up like cook for them, you know? Yeah, because my mother wasn't around to like do all them things all the time, you know? So I used to like cook. And from there, I started like watching my grandparents cooking, thing in, thing in, and then I say, all right, I go in and watch and see how they do certain things. Yeah, so that one day if they should pass or, you know, I could be able to show my children and them the stuff that I learned from she, you know? Yeah, and from that point, I used to like watch my grandmother cooking and stuff. And from there, I just like, when I get my little spare time, I just try whatever she, she, she doing, you know? And from there, I just start learning, you know? Yeah, to do things by myself. So it's like I am self-trained. The days for the week, we just have like different meats. So we have like pork, Thursday to Saturday, jerk chicken, every day. We have oxtail, Friday and Saturday, and we have curry goat on Thursdays. The people, yeah, yeah them does say we have the best jerk chicken in Trinidad. In Jamaica, we just call this pan chicken. Yeah, this is not like real, authentic jerk chicken, yes. Authentic jerk chicken is a chicken you would slow cook over some wood in which we call sweet wood yeah and it's over um like an open pit it's not like um a closed pit like this one it's like over an open pit yeah and it have sweet wood and you lay the chicken on it and stuff and you rest a galvanized on top yeah and that would stay there and slow cook but this process now it's kind of like a faster process you know like how some people would say you speed up the process yeah, so um, this one is pan chicken, so it's a, it's a kind of speedier process for the jerk chicken. This one is to um, give it a more faster, like to ready it faster and stuff. And, the, and this one now is to like slow cook it, that is to drain out the blood and all this stuff from it. So it's two, you have to have two levels. If you have just one level, your chicken will just like keep burning all the time. So this is the bottom where you like you sear it first to get the arm, um, the crust on the outside and then you rest it up top for that to slow cook and like drain out all the blood and take it time and cook properly. Alright y'all, so we try in the jerk chicken, rice and beans and mashed potato. Before I try this y'all, we, Rhett and I have been trying to come by this place for probably like five years now Rhett, it's pre-Covid. So literally like five, six years we're trying to come to this place and for a number of reasons we never made it, but today we're here. All right, so finally we're here. All right, so we don't need a fork to try the chicken. So we're doing some leg and tie jerk chicken here. What's that? No, nah, man, no, nah, man. It's not dry, it's not dry. Good food don't need sauce. You want to know if we need sauce now? This don't need any sauce, this is leg and tie. You know, I mean, Leg and thai, normally full of moisture. He didn't dry it out on the grill, full of flavor. A lot of jerk places, unfortunately, is killing with heat. That's the first, middle, and last thing you're tasting. But this, nice flavor, nice char, full of moisture, and nothing bad to say, nothing bad to say. Ooh, look at your next leg, oh God. In Trinidad here, we kind of do it different. We have a little mix of the Trinidad and the Jamaican style. You know, yeah, so it, you kind of get it, the, the two, the two type of flavors in one. Yeah. yeah, so we mix it with Trinidad seasoning and Jamaican seasoning, in which we add the pimento berries, garlic, thyme, ginger, spice, and all those little stuff. Yes, 
and we grind them out and marinate it for about a week. A week? Yes. The chicken man is it for a week? Yes. Rest it in the fridge, like when we season it, we rest it in the fridge and it could stay there for like over a week. So that is how long we process does, you know? So that properly seasoned? Yes, down to the bone. All right, so now we're going to try this stewed cow heel. In Jamaica, this is referred to as cow foot, but here in Trinidad, you know, we call it cow heel, right? We normally uh, make sauce with this cow heel soup on a Saturday, but we're going to try it stewed. <laughs> It's melting in your mouth. Of course, it's coil, right? So, full of that gelatinous goodness, full of flavor, slow cooked, cooked all the way through. I mean, it's literally melting in your mouth. You see, all the goodness. That's not oil, that's all the lovely um, residual fat from the cow. Mm -mm -mm. You only need to try this. So, the fact that we've been trying to come in for five to six years and he's still relevant, tells you all you need to know about this food, yeah? We don't need to tell you how this tastes and for you to come here. He's full. Since we're here, it's non-stop people, lunchtime on a Wednesday. Well, I think, I think it's the love. Uh. Yeah, the love, you know? Yeah, it's how, it's how you cook your food. Yeah. Yes, it's not what you cook it with, it's how you cook it to me, yes. And I find if you're not cooking with love, yeah. your food ain't here. Yeah. Your food ain't gonna taste nice at all. Um, we just be out here from Tuesday to Saturdays, from 12 to 8 during the week, and on weekends from 12 to 9. And the contact number is 738 6898.